What's up? What's up, everyone? Welcome to the channel. T. Ravis here. Uh, today, I want to do a video on uh, my favorite pickups that I got for 2020, and uh, it's mainly just books that I sought after, picked up, and some of my favorites to collect for my PC itself. So, um, let's just get started with that. Got a small little stack here. Um, first book I want to show you. Right there's giant size Spider-Man number four with the Punisher. And this is actually the third appearance of the Punisher. I've always loved this book. It's really hard to find it in really good grades. It's a square bound book. This one here is pretty good. Uh, great color on it. Just an all around great comic cover. One of my favorites. Uh, the next one I picked up was Amazing Spider-Man 569, just a variant cover, and I believe this to be the first appearance of Anti-Venom, which is an awesome character, but this cover was just too good to pass up. I really love this cover. Um, one of my favorites. This is a candidate to send out to be slabbed. Um, big uh, Hobgoblin fan, and... Um, Picked up Amazing Spider-Man 238. Has the tattoos. And that's uh, Hobgoblin's first appearance in that book. And Amazing Spider-Man 239. And found it in the wild twice. So that's the second appearance of the Hobgoblin. Um, really good price. One's in a lot better shape than the other one. Um, but for the price I found them at. Couldn't pass them up. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 134, which is actually, uh, it's a book up that's in debate. Um, second appearance, second cameo appearance of the Punisher. He appears on the uh, final page, has dialogue, the whole page is him. It's one of those things, right? So 135 is credited as second appearance. This is like second cameo. You know, but whatever. It's a nice book. First pair to Tarantula. Uh, Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man number 300. I just love this cover. Uh, it's a Tyler Kirkman cover, I believe. Yes. And it's an awesome book. Love this cover. And that's also another candidate to be sent out and be slabbed. Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man number 64, first appearance of Cloak and Dagger. Um, loved the TV show. I hate to see it go away. It was a good story. Uh, but this book here, I think this is an underrated, undervalued book. Uh, I found it, and this is actually a slab candidate. Uh, could probably use a really good pressing. And uh, I believe it to be in the high nines. X-Men Annual number 14, the true first appearance of Gambit. Now listen, this book came out before 266. Gambit is in there. He has dialogue. He's in the middle of the story, not just at the end of the page, splash, whatever. This book, whether it was intended to or not, came out before X-Men 266. So to me... This is the first appearance. I don't know. We know how the comic market goes, but I'm just glad to have it. She-Hulk, number one. Right here. First appearance of She-Hulk. Last Stan Lee story. X-Men, number 98. Love this cover. Always like the Sentinels going down the skyscraper. It's X-Men battling them. Um, sorry about the glare. And Kenny X-Men, number 130, first appearance of Dazzler. You know, and for the longest time, I never realized this was her John Romita Jr. cover. Um, but it sure is. I was I always was under the assumption that it was a Steve Ditko, or not Steve Ditko, Dave Cockrum cover. And it's not. So I learned something, but it's a great cover. Love it. Love the character. 
uh, X Men, Uncanny X Men number 120. First cameo appearance of Alpha Flight. Very undervalued book right now, I believe. And X Men, Uncanny X Men 121. Now, this is one of my all time favorite covers by Dave Cockrum. I'm a huge Dave Cockrum fan, but the way he drew this out with just the colors and the see a fighting sequence this is the first full appearance of alpha flight one of my all-time favorite covers of a book love this love this book i uh, picked up a young avengers number one right there this is also this book here it needs a good pressing um but i believe believe it to be in the high nines and with they're coming so uh, Incredible Hulk number 182 and second cameo of Hulk as he's flying off in a helicopter at the end at the beginning of the book so um, this book here is in great condition got a couple spine ticks on it um, but all around pretty good book and <clears throat> my final book uh, is Venom number 26 variant cover Love this cover. Another uh, Tyler Kirkman cover. Um, it's just awesome. This is also a book that I want to send out and get slabbed. Great book. Right there. And that is my favorite uh, pickups of the past year. Um, and you'll notice a lot of these books. Um, let's give you a little story about myself here. Um, I collected comics from roughly around, I always kind of bought comics when I was younger, you know, in the drugstore, pick up a book here and there, never really read them, looked at the pictures, kind of read some of them, you know, I was a big uh, Spider-Man is Amazing Friends, Cartoon Lover, Spider-Woman, um, always I had all the toys as a kid, but never really read the comics um, until around 1983, um, I had a... Uh, I was a freshman in high school and I had a class with a guy and he sat next to me. He was always, he's always kind of sit by himself and I, I ended up getting uh, assigned seating right next to him and he had a duffel, he packed a duffel bag with him all the time. And in this duffel bag, um, there was, he, I noticed he was always getting something out and putting in his textbook and the teacher would talk, which he never bothered us. And he, I'm like, what is he doing? So I asked him one day and he, he had comic books. He would bring them to school, and he would put them in his textbooks and read them while he's in class. And uh, he, you know, he gave me a couple of books. He's like, "Hey, check these books out." And uh, you know, it kind of got the bug from there. You know, I'd already had, I already knew these characters from being a kid and cartoons and toys. And I had the Migos as a kid. I had Spider Man, Spider Man Car, the Batman, Superman. I had all that stuff. Um, and so I knew I had familiarity with these characters and uh, now I had backstory to them. And once I got it, it I, you know, I was going to um, going to Walmart, going to the drugstore, gas stations, wherever, because everybody got different books. No one got the same and uh, was buying these books off the shelf, you know, and, uh, you know, I was just putting them in a box. I was reading them, I was enjoying them, putting them in a box. And, you know, it turns out there's a couple of other guys that was in school that was uh, had different classes with that were you know what i'm seeing i had a book when he goes you read comics and i'm like well yeah i'm just starting reading and i just seen him the other day he still collects comics so there's no telling what he has but um uh, so i did that for years and years till about 10 years ago uh, we finally got an lcs in town and um it was a great thing you know um, we had that LCS, I try, I didn't I find out that I had an LCS, uh, to about a year after I had started collecting, going, buying all this stuff at the drug stores and the little convenience stores and all that stuff. And, um, uh, found out that I had an LCS and man, I started going in there every week. I got me a pull box and, uh, it, you know, I had that place, it was called Fantasy Limited and, um, you know, made a lot of good friends there. Still have good friends with those people today. Um, to about 10 years ago, it, it might have been a little longer than 10 years ago. It closed. The guy that would run it was running two shops. And, 
you know, it was, you know, I think the 90s got them, and one guy worked really hard to keep it afloat, and he just couldn't support two stores, and this was before eBay was big, online selling. I mean, we used to drive, you know, you you get in the car, you get a box of books, you'd head out, you'd be gone all day. You'd go to this town, take your box, do some trading, buy some stuff, go to the next one. Just, you know, it's just a hustle, you know, you just hustled them. And, um, you know, you'd be there and another comic book uh, owner, shop owner would come into that store. I was there with a box of books, they trade, and then you couldn't wait to see what they traded for. So maybe it'd be something you're interested in. I mean, I formed a lot of great friendships there. And um, probably about almost two, probably a year and a half, almost two years ago, um, you know, believe it or not, I caught a Comic Tom 101 video on um, YouTube and started watching it and going back through the back. And I was like, you know, all these books I know. And, and uh, you know, I started getting on eBay and, the thing is, when that comic shop closed, uh, I was really, uh, I really got pissed and um, sold off my collection. And I had um, a really nice collection. Um, I had Amazing Spider-Man. I think I had two through twelve. I was just, I was working on a one. Uh, I had um, most of the early X-Men issues, Fantastic Four. Uh, I had a Fantastic Four four five. Um, Hulk on 80, 81, 82. I had all the big books because I at the time when I was buying them, they weren't that big of a deal, money wise. Not like today. I bought Spawn, uh, Spider Man ASM three hundred off the shelf, and I bought a couple of them, and they sat in boxes forever. And you know, I I sold them the whole collection. I sold it off. I was like, I'm done with collecting. I can't drive an hour away to an LCS every day, and or every week, and it was just a big headache. It wouldn't work in my life. I got disheartened and sold, sold it off. And I regret that to this day. Um, so, a lot of this stuff I'm picking back up slowly but surely. Um, of stuff that I had before and really liked and enjoyed and cherished. And um, maybe I can pass it on one day. And, you know, or maybe someone can sell it one day and make some good money for themselves. One of the kids. So... Um, you know, that's my little story, um, but I'm glad I got the bug back. I feel like I'm back home. I really enjoy these things. I enjoy these characters, um, and, uh, you know, that's enough of me rambling on. Um, so some things for the channel for this year that's going to change. Um, I have got rid of my subscription to Comic Time 101. Uh, after that last box, you know what, and I know um, his videos is what, and he's a great supporter of the community and comics in general, but I can't see the value out of those boxes, and I haven't, I don't see any GP winners, I have, you know, and I'm saying I have to get a GP for me to keep subscribing, I just want a decent books, you know, and the, and the exclusives, some of them are good for me, some of them aren't. You know, I'm not saying I'll never buy one again, but it won't be a subscription. It'll be one of his exclusives that's coming up. It's like the next, this month's is the Eternals. You know how many, anybody look through the previews? You know how many covers there are for Eternals number one? There's like 20. So he, his is not, it's not going to be anything special. Um, to me anyway. Maybe special to one of you. Collect what you like. That's what I say and that's important. But for me, it's not important. So... Um, I'm, I'm not going to be doing, I may, I'm going to say I'm not, I may pick up one here and there. Um, now my boxed heroes, I like boxed heroes. Everybody's griping about boxed heroes. Um, I complained to boxed heroes. I talked to them on IG and, um, they commented right back to me and we talked and, uh, I mean, it wasn't five minutes. I commented on their IG page and apparently there's two tiers there at I at, for at boxed heroes uh one is for people who prefer more silver and bronze age books compared to variants and then the new variants so you can be put on either list i didn't know that so i told them to switch me to the new to the list with the less new variants and more of the older stuff so we'll see how that goes uh, i just paid my subscription uh, box this morning so hopefully uh It'll be in next week or two, depending on the mail. 
and uh, we'll unbox it and see if, if there's a change and how good it's like the old boxes or not. So hopefully that's a good thing. So might be a little information for you out there. Hey, if you're wanting the older stuff compared to the newer variants that, you know, you can might as well order a Spider-Man booth box to get. And that's, I'm not knocking that Spider-Man. I buy one occasionally. Some of those variants I like. I mean, I got this out of one of those. I really like that book, so I'm not knocking it at all. Uh, if you like it, that's good for you. Uh, but that's it. Um, little video I just wanted to go over. I hadn't made one in a while. I've got a lot of stuff coming in the mail. It's been held up. Uh, been a little sick around here. I haven't made it to the LCS to pick up my uh, books. Um and um, I guess that's about it. So um, leave a comment below, give me a thumbs up. And uh, I'm also toying with an idea of doing a, uh, I'm sitting at 174 on subscribers. Um, you know, I always said I'm not gonna be one of these people that puts out um, a subscriber um, giveaway. Um, but I've, I'm toying with the idea of making a 250 subscriber giveaway uh, with some books and uh, do a push. But I'll make a separate video for that and uh, push it out. And uh, probably like to hit 250. And my goal, my goal for the year, I'm going to have a small goal for, for me. Because uh, I know I don't get the chance to make as many videos and drop them weekly. I try. Um, but I want to actually have some content. I don't want to just pop on here and say, oh, here's two books I got today. And pop off i want to have a stack of books to share with you um but i want to at least get 500 subscribers um for the year and i think that'd be a good goal for me uh realistic i like to uh overpass that goal but we'll see what we can do um you know the one thing that um i see that for the year of 220 that was uh, good and positive was strength in this comic community and with this youtube uh community i made a lot of good friends on this uh, YouTube now with these groups, uh, you know, you got Sparks Comics, you got Spine Ticks, Sif Lordly, uh, Slotted Up 503, Gary B. the Comic Guy, Small Town Collectibles, um, you know, you have Principal Defects, Three Men in a Basement, um, Power Pack. They're all great channels. Everybody knows each other. We all talk. It's just been great that this reminds me of how it was in the 80s before we had all this to where we all hung out in the in the comic shop and talked to each other and become friends and went hunting together and this is like that uh, all over again for me and that's i really like it and i uh, really appreciate it so um that's it i'm done rambling um give me a uh, thumbs up leave a comment enjoy reading them talking to you and remember it's always important just to collect what you like